Hey, baby. Uh, I'm so looking forward to today. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm just ready to head down to the owl to you. Love you. See you soon. And why don't you tell the story of you guys first meeting? The story of Jordan and I first meeting. So I knew Jordan from school, but we actually met at a wash child, or excuse me, we actually met at Billy Bob's. Um, I saw him just walking around the bar. Um, I was like, what the heck are you doing here? We go to school in Arkansas. Why are you here? Um, I live here. I'm here every Friday and Saturday. And he was like, no, I, I actually live here. I've never seen you, you here before. So that's, that's weird. Um, but we kind of got to talk in and we, you know, I asked him to dance and he told me no, which that doesn't happen often. And I didn't take no for an answer at that. Um, I was like, oh, come on. He was like, no, I'm not dancing with you. You're too good. I was like, mm, no, come on. I'll, I'll teach you. So, and then from there on, we, we danced literally the rest of the night and then, um, got in touch afterwards. And then the rest is history. Sorry. Do I have to break in this? No, you're fine. So yeah, just like sharing a few of your favorite things about him. Um, well, one, he's handsome. It's a little bit undeniable. Um, obviously, he's funny. He's strong. He's so hard-headed, and that is a good quality at times, but he's strong-willed and driven oriented he's the whole package <laughs> and how are you feeling right now I am honestly doing okay I'm doing pretty good I'm not super nervous yet I don't know if I will I just feel like I'm ready to get down the aisle and then what's a uh, um, what's something you're most excited about for marriage in the short term like just the upcoming yeah, weeks Um, within the next couple of weeks, the next couple of weeks is just like soaking in that Jordan and I are married. We've talked about this forever. Jordan and I have been together for seven years in December. It just seems like a long time coming and we're finally going to be married and share the last name and just kind of start working toward, I mean, obviously we have already, but like that covenant of marriage. And what are you excited about for marriage in the long term, like 10, 20 years? 10, 20 years, oh lordy. Uh, step one, building our family and just watching Jordan raise. Oh no, I didn't want to cry. Dang it, Andrew. Oh, crap. Ugh. Shoot! Shoot! I've been good all day. Damn you. Okay. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No one, like, taught me how to... Mom! Wait! Go back downstairs. I'm making my podcast. Okay. I see you put my eyeballs in. Those are important. I can't see. Sorry, I'm sorry. Eyeballs are a priority. I need to see. I'm like, why can't I see anything? Huh? I ain't got no eyeballs in. I got a bundle. She needs to breathe right now, anyway. Just trying to hold it all in. I'm doing it. I got it. Oh gosh, I'm getting hot. What? There's all sorts of I know, they're really pretty. No, turn that off, Mom. I know, but we're almost done. But you're interrupting. Okay, I'm sorry. You can carry on and play like I'm not here. Because I gotta find them. <laughs> I'm so glad you have a big veil, too. Yeah. Because No, I know. And I put on a short one and. Mom, take your bag and go downstairs. We're on a time schedule. We don't have built into the time schedule for you to look for your contacts. I just don't know which, what they're in. 
Um, I put on a short one and I felt like I was in a scary movie. <laughs> I was like, I look like I am on a horror film. Like, they're, they're like spooky, the short ones. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, I can. I'm good now. That was just like a lot of like rapid questions. I can yeah. do it. Lots of thoughts and feelings all at once. Yes. Okay, so yeah, kind of what you're excited about for marriage in the long term. Long term, I am looking forward to Jordan and I building our family and just watching him be a dad. I think he'll be a very, very, very good dad and us working together to grow our family and, you know, focus on us as well. Um, but that's probably like the biggest thing and then like obviously growing with like watching Jordan be successful in his career as a firefighter and um, just watch him do his thing. And then um, what's a lesson you feel like you've learned through your friendship? What's something that he's taught you? Patience. He would say I'm not very good at it still but he's very good at being like it's all good we'll go with the flow it's it's fine or just like being patient he houses that skill that i do not have um, and i think he kind of checks me when um, so i've learned to be more patient like i said i don't think that he would say that i am patient but i'm definitely more patient for sure and why don't you just finish sharing that sweet little nothing to him mm -hmm. All I am going to say is I'm so ready to do this. And be Mrs. Jones, be your wife. Let's do this thing. We did make it here today. It's been one hell of a journey. Um, and we definitely have grown through uh, a lot of unfortunate events and became closer. And I'm so excited to be here with you today, baby. Um, I love you so much. And it's only going to get better from here. Why don't you share your perspective of the first time y'all met? My perspective? Oh, uh, I went uh, dancing, and then she saw me in a crowd, and then uh, she followed me around while we were at the bar asking me to dance, and I uh, said yes after a few rejections, and uh, we're here today. And I'm sure there's a thousand things. What are just a few of your favorite things about it? Uh, her attitude, her laughter, and the way that we can hang out and have a good time as best friends. And how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm a wee bit nervous. Are you more on the nervous side or more excited or both? Probably excited more than nervous, but I'm ready to uh, say I do, that's for sure. And what are you excited about for marriage in the short term, like this upcoming week? The honeymoon. The honeymoon for sure. Uh, tonight. Have a great night tonight. And what are you excited about for marriage in the long term? Like 10, 15 years? Uh, kiddos. I have some kids running around and uh, it'll definitely add a different layer to our marriage that I'm looking forward to. And what's a lesson you feel like you've learned through your friendship with her? Like something that she's taught you? Uh, patience and understanding that just because I'm feeling away or she's feeling away, the idea that we have to meet in the middle is something that we both come together to and understand and love about each other. And then why don't you just finish with sending her a sweet little nothing? Send her nothing? You know, just like a, hey babe, I love you, let's oh, do this thing. Hey woman, I love you, let's party. <laughs> Um, it's been a long time coming, but I've been so excited for this day to celebrate y'all as a couple, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for y'all. As you were taking pictures up there, I turned back to Tori and said, that's a good looking family that's going to make some pretty babies. So get working in Sedona. Love you guys. <laughs> All right, Bryson and Jordan, I just want to start off by saying that you guys are amazing as a couple. I'm so thankful to have been a part of your day um, from the moment you guys got together. It's been incredible and we knew y'all were meant to be. Um, so it's been so fun watching you guys grow together and 
doing all the crazy things that we've done, whether it's going karaoke during a snowstorm or um, going dancing at all the bars. Um, we just love hanging out with you guys, and I know you guys are going to have such an awesome future. Um, I'm so thankful to have done all this with you guys and just watch you guys grow and y'all watch, you know, our families grow. It's been so fun. I just love y'all. I wish you guys the best. Y'all are awesome, and we're going to have a great time tonight celebrating you guys, and we just love you. Okay. Bryson and Jordan, thank you so much for um, just allowing me to be a part of your journey together as a couple and a part of your big day. Um, so thankful for the two of you. Um, you two are both crazy, and I love it. And cheers to you guys. And Jordan, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Hey Bryson, hey Jordo. I'm so happy for both of y'all. I can remember the first day that me and Bryson actually met on the soccer field when we were eight years old. Granted, Bryson did not want to be my friend, but our moms forced us to be friends. However, we've been friends for the last 20 years and Jordan has basically become my adoptive brother. I love y'all both very much and wish y'all a lifetime of happiness. Congrats, you guys. Hey Bryson and Jordan, love you both so much. Bri, you're my best friend from OBU, you know that. We spent my entire sophomore, junior year, junior year, your senior year together. I got to see you and Jordan fall more in love. Jordan, you're still not invited to my birthday party, nor will you ever be invited to my birthday party. I love you both so much, and I wish you the most happiness in the whole entire world. Hi, guys. Um, I, wow. What a long time coming this has been. Um, you heard most of the story already. Really, that's all the story um, about the first night that you two really met. I knew you guys knew of each other, obviously. You know, to watch it all, there's about 12 old people there, and y'all are two of them. Um, but I am just so thrilled that I finally got to share that with you, Bryson, um, to let you know this whole freaking time that man has been absolutely head over heels in love with you. Uh, and I am just so happy that I am able to witness you guys and um, see how much he loves you is such uh, a privilege because he does not do that with everyone. So um, I love you guys. Happy to be getting a sister through all of this. And I am looking forward to the next forever years hanging out with you guys, going to step in, you being my wing woman, and Jordan being annoying as always. So I love you guys. Congratulations. Have a great marriage. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Bryson. Super excited for you all to uh, continue your uh, journey of life with marriage. Um, hopefully when you all have kids, hopefully it takes after Bryson's athleticism and not Jordan's. Lord knows that's not what the kids need. Otherwise, they might be a little uniform model sitting on the sideline. So super excited for you all, though. Love you bunch. Bye. Jordan, this is after your speech, man. I know I just gave you a speech and embarrassed you in front of everybody. I hope I did. But I will say you're a married man now. Take it from me. I've been married for a couple years now. You're always going to be wrong, okay? Just know that, and you got to be patient. That's part of marriage. I'm still trying to learn that myself, so I'm not telling you how to do it. But I'm your brother, and I'm telling you, you're always going to be wrong, just like I have been tonight. So I love you. I love Bryson, too, and I hope the best for y'all. Hey, Jordan Bryson. Uh, the dancing just started getting going, and me and Raven had to leave. You know, she's prego, and she got to go. She's sicky. But uh, congrats on both of y'all. Y'all both look beautiful tonight. Jordan, I think you look just fine. Bryson, you look great, amazing. Uh, wish y'all a lifetime full of happiness and everything, and a lifetime full of friendship with us as well. Y'all have a good night.